Hey, happy Friday, everybody. It is May 8th and time for this week's Friday Funnies. First off, I would like to thank all of you who emailed me congratulations regarding last week's prediction of the Kentucky Derby winner, Mine That Bird. In case you missed last week's Funnies, here's what I said. This year, my pick is going to be a 50 to 1 long shot called Mine That Bird, because to me, a bird in a mine is the first thing to die in case of a gas leak. So I'm hoping that Mine That Bird goes first uh, across the finish line. Now, if you did not heed my advice and didn't win tons of money last week, be ready next week when next week's Friday Funnies, I will be predicting the winner of the Preakness. So, but in the meantime, let me give you this week's gambling advice. Depending upon where you live, the number 12, 12, may be a wise lottery pick. But enough prognosticating here are this week's odder news events. Our first one takes us to Los Angeles, where a man was stopped at Los Angeles International Airport this week and charged with smuggling. Now that is really not an unusual occurrence, but this story is a little bit different. Sony Dong. That's the man's real name, Sony Dong. Sounds like a rather bizarre product from the same folks that brought us the Walkman. But anyhow, he was returning to Los Angeles from Vietnam. And the purpose of his trip was to smuggle songbirds in his pants. Yep. Apparently exotic birds like the red-whiskered bulbul are in big demand in this country and collectors are willing to pay top dollar for just one bird. So Sony Dong strapped some birds to his legs and he got on a plane. When he got off the plane in L.A., customs officials looked at him and they wondered about the bird droppings all over his shoes and the feathers on his socks. And inside his pants, they found bulbuls, magpies, and thrush. Oh, my. And uh, quickly arrested him. The woman sitting next to Dong on the flight said, uh, Well, that explains why he opened his zipper and kept slipping in crackers during the flight. And now it's time for the return of a popular feature on the Friday Funnies, News from around the world. This week near the Seychelles Islands, Somali pirates were at it again when they set out to attack what they thought was a richly laden merchant vessel. Instead, what they encountered was a French naval ship, which started bombarding them with insults and rude gestures. But when they started firing off those French naval cannons, the pirates surrendered. Uh, they were taken on board this ship and eventually they were released to face the scorn and ridicule of their fellow pirates because they were forced to wear t-shirts that read, I was captured by the French. Meanwhile, in Rafina, Greece, about 15 miles outside of Athens, a man had his home burglarized. His entire home. The owner of a 750 square foot vacation home found that his house and all of its contents were stolen by thieves who apparently used a crane to lift up the house and load it onto a flatbed trailer. The weird thing about this story is that so far authorities have not been able to locate the missing building. How can you not find a house located on a trailer? And where would you hide a house? Inside of a bigger house? To date, the Greeks said they only have one lead that they are following, the sudden appearance of a huge wooden horse in the suburbs of Troy. More on this story as we get it. Finally, let me just say that crime is not a game for the smart. A 20-year-old man in Fresno, California, was jailed this week on a variety of charges. When he made bail, he quickly jumped on his bicycle and sped away from the jailhouse, almost causing a collision. It was at this time that police happened to notice the shirt he was wearing. It was a blue shirt, or blue t-shirt, I should say, with the word prisoner stenciled across the back, which he had just stolen from the lockup he just got out of. He was arrested again, charged with felony theft and a fashion crime. Hey, that's all I have for you this week. Remember Sunday, Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to mothers everywhere. On behalf of your kids, let me just say thanks for raising us and what's for dinner. We'll see you next week.